Welcome dear friends. In this video we're going to be talking about DBT, or Data Build Tool. If you're involved in data transformation, or analytics workflows, then DBT is definitely a tool that you should be familiar with. So, what is DBT? At its core, DBT is a tool for transforming data within a data warehouse. So, when we're talking about ELT or ETL pipelines, DBT is focused solely on T, which is transforming raw data into actionable insights. In general, the extraction of data from source systems and loading of raw data into the data warehouse are typically completed using some other tools. This enables DBT to execute data transformation workflows within the data warehouse itself. With so many ETL products already available in the market, you may be wondering where DBT fits in and why DBT is becoming more popular. To begin with, DBT is more affordable, it also offers a free open source version. On the other hand, traditional ETL products can be relatively more expensive. Popular ETL tools may require specialized skills for effective usage. On the other hand, DBT primarily uses SQL, a language familiar to your existing data analysts and engineers, so no specialized skills required. Modern cloud data platforms like Redshift, BigQuery, Snowflake, and Databricks come with significant processing power. With its ELT approach and low local resource requirements, DBT takes full advantage of these modern cloud data platforms. In addition, DBT offers several built-in features such as version control, automated testing, document generation, and data lineage visualization. These features can help ensure that your data transformations are reliable and maintainable over time, even as your data volumes and complexity grow. DBT allows large data teams to collaborate more easily by providing an integrated platform for coding, testing, documentation, and deployment. In order to understand DBT features, you should first understand why many enterprises are shifting from traditional ETL to modern ELT architecture. In ETL, data is first extracted from the source systems, then business logic or transformations are applied to it. Finally, the processed data is loaded into the data warehouse for consumption. On the other hand, in the modern ELT approach, the data is initially extracted from the source system and loaded into the data warehouse typically in its raw form. Subsequently, the data transformations are carried out within the data warehouse itself. There are various factors contributing to this shift. ELT approach is more cost-effective as it eliminates the need for expensive ETL infrastructure and utilizes the processing power of data warehouse. The cloud data warehouse resources used in ELT are highly scalable, allowing businesses to easily expand their data processing capabilities as their needs grow. ELT also offers greater flexibility as it allows analysts and data scientists to use their preferred tools and languages to process data within the warehouse. With ELT, data can be transformed and made available for analysis more quickly, offering faster time to insight and decision making. ELT also offers improved data governance and data lineage tracking, as it maintains complete data lineage within the data warehouse itself. In summary, with its focus on modern ELT systems and agile development support, DBT is a powerful tool for data teams. In our next video, we'll see how to set up DBT and create your first project. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.